when you have such code of the Hermes flow you have to check the sensors before you do anything or change it all because if you buy this without including this main uh, chip to the car itself it won't work it's, it won't work you can't buy this and just install from another car it will work only for that car so the main ingredients either the motherboard is busted or the the Hermes flow filaments here they are very thin glass filaments so if you have the a class Mercedes before 2000 up to 2000 will have the Hermes flow integrated within the main computer the main chip of the car after 2000 uh, it will be separate they realized that it was rubbish here's the pens of the Hermes flow sensor uh, some people make a hack by connecting uh, number two and three and number four and five to a resistor but uh, it's just temporary it's not like uh, long term it will fix a lot of stuff but it will uh, prevent the computer from adjusting anything air or fuel it will just make it steady winter uh, summer it will be the same so to see what's your problem we have to remove the retaining clips here and it's just all around and now you have a t20 torque screws you have to remove it all and it, the torque for this it's written on it is 10 so just remove it so we can re-access the filaments the very thin filaments of the Hermes flow inside here So now I'm gonna continue. Try not to put any, like introduce any dust. Try to make everything clean as much as you can. I remove the tension in a star shape. So I reduce the tension on the motherboard itself. And now I can remove the screws easily. And try not to lose this gasket here make sure that you don't ruin it also because you're gonna install it back here you have four knobs holding the plastic cover here just press it and take it out So this is the heat uh, sensor and this is the temperature sensor. This will uh, differentiate the resistance and this one will transfer the uh, heat itself. You can see it's kind of dirty but it's intact. You can buy those from eBay and you just weld it. The welding is very sensitive but it can be done. It's not it can be done it's not a big deal you can see that it's like this now i'm gonna show you how much is the resistance since i don't have them broken they are not broken so i can just measure the resistance for each so first to make sure that they are not disrupted from inside i have to make the continuity test Bismillah. So this is okay. Let's 
so since I don't know actually the original resistance from Mercedes itself, I'm gonna clean it now carefully and carefully don't push that much because they are very thin. So to use the air mass cleaning liquid and very carefully, very might try it here first. Try to wait until it gets dry. So before I put the air mass flow, I also put the gasket in its place and I clean it with the air mass flow sensor inside here from the for inlet every every place here because I also found the bug between the gasket and the air mass flow, so I better clean everything. It will give it also like a kind of better setting and contact later. Just make sure that it's sitting good in its place. Meanwhile, I will reinstall the plastic cover. Okay, that's it. So if you see those filaments here, the two filaments that we uncovered here, if you see it broken, why it get broken? Either by age, this is 10 years, almost 11 years fixed. So it's either by age or the most common that you put the cleaner the uh, throttle body or the uh, air mass flow cleaner while the car is hot like you just park the car and you dismantle everything and uh, don't let it get uh, cold if it's hot it will break this is the main cause of it you can see so many videos that it's broken the filaments are broken this is the main cause and also uh, if you drive in uh, winter in very cold winter and start to uh, push on the uh, throttle so the temperature of the air still coming from outside is very very cold so you should really uh, drive slowly you don't push that much on the throttle you can see it in my other videos the uh, advices for the driving so uh, this is the main cause of the filaments getting uh, uh, this kind of uh, breakage so if my filaments are okay it's gonna be the connections in the motherboard and this is beyond my capabilities you have to send it either like to there are so many companies who can fix it or you can buy new one and you have to program it to your car this means that you have to go either to mercedes to recode new one for you or for those companies who can fix it they can diagnose exactly which part is busted and fix it but you don't swap the motherboard from car to car you can't you can swap the air mass flow yes but the motherboard you cannot we can start putting it carefully, gently. Make sure that the holes coincide and start putting the screws in a star shape. Also make sure that everything is clean. So the torque is 10, you just can torque it by your hand, that's it. Just make sure that everything is tight by finger. And that will be enough. To summarize the problem in the air mass flow p100 and p100 and the other numbers that is related to the air mass flow you either have the computer which is that clearly happens main th thing is the air mass flow which is here you have pins <clears throat> as you see you have to test that you have really busted filaments before uh, see if it's broken or not if it's broken there are kits you can buy it from ebay and they provide you with the two filaments you have just to solder it dismantle it as we as you saw in the video and you just solder it carefully uh, if it's 
busted, you have another option, which is to buy the new uh, uh, ECU itself with the air mass flow from a model engine that is the same like yours. You just remove two, two screws here. This will dislodge the air mass and you can put the new one and desolder those and you have to solder the new one. This is another option beside the first one we talked about. The third option, which is temporary, that you hook up here on pin number, uh, you have pin number two and three and four and five. Two and three, you hook it up with uh, uh, resistance. I'll put the description of those resistance in the description of the video. Each between two and three and one between three, uh, four and five. <clears throat> Make sure that you just uh, solder it good and cover it. You can use the silicone gun for that. So this is the options you have when you have the air mass flow sensor. To get rid of this problem and not to let it happen, as you see, as I told you, you don't use the air mass flow cleaner while the car is hot or the unit is still hot. You have to really wait for those filaments. It's very, very thin filaments, very fragile. So you have to wait until it's cold, then you can clean it good or do the maintenance of what I did in the throttle body and the air mass flow cleaning every, I would say every, in this car, especially every four to five months. And this will summarize the issue of the air mass flow problems on the A class master. This, this is the first video on the net that show you the amount and the continuity and the amount of resistance between the filaments, the two filaments, the heater and the uh, resistance filament. If you get it from a company, make sure that all the gaskets, as you saw, is there and this should be closed. Sometimes they will leave this one open. This one should be also, this hole should be closed and as you see, closed from here. Make sure that you close it good. Now I'm gonna assemble it again just by pressing it's just plastic clips all around make sure that all the clips are in as you can see Should be very sealed and protected. Make sure that all the metal clips are sitting on the plastic part and what's those clips. Just get it inside. Just push it like this. way don't push it to the end it have just groove here that like it will sit in it as you can see and here same this, this is the groove you can see it here don't push it to the end just and as i said those are just for the models which are made up to 2000 after 2000 must just decided that they were stupid and put the air mass sensor separate from the ICU. This is the part numbers, if you want, everything also. So this concludes the work on the air mass flow. Now I'm gonna do, as we will see in the description, the same throttle body cleaning and reassemble everything. If you wanna know how I disassembled this, uh, go back to my uh, videos in the description and on the cards above the video you can see how i dismantled it's very easy it will like uh, you get used to it if you're really into maintaining this car a lot hope you find it useful hope you like it give us thumb up and uh, any comments uh, i'll leave the description details uh, all the things what uh, i did here and the resistance if you want to use that other uh, option uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you in other videos for the meantime 
Bye-bye.